Fancy is going to make one lousy cop if she was gullible enough to have believed me. Well, I think I convinced her enough that she has no future with Luis whatsoever. I'm his soulmate. I'm the only woman that he will ever truly love. Only me. Wow. Well, quoting the act. I kind of wanted everything set up before you walked in. Oh, it looks perfect. Well, I, uh, I got James to bed, and uh, it is a special occasion. And I wanted to celebrate the new year with my beautiful wife. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I can't believe you did this. Well, James helped a little. You're kidding. Mostly by going to bed when I asked him to. He wasn't very happy about it. Wanted to stay up and uh, celebrate New Year with us. I want to go give him a good night kiss. Can that wait a few minutes? Of course. Because I wanted to make a toast to my beautiful wife, who's given me the most precious gift I could have ever imagined. Oh, Chris. It's true, you know. I messed up my first marriage really badly. I almost lost James, too. And now I have the family I've always dreamed of. And the most incredible woman a man could have ever hoped for. You're the one that's given me the gift. After I lost Marty, I never thought I'd be happy again. So thank you. Well then, here's to us and to our family. May we be as happy as we are tonight for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Now, may I have the honor of this dance? You may. Luis is not the man for you. And I really don't think that you love him. Now, this is what I call the right way to spend New Year's Eve, with you in my arms. <laughs> Did I say something funny? No, no, I... <laughs> I'm just happy. Well, that makes two of us. I must be the luckiest woman in the world to have you and James in my life. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. I don't know what I'd do if I lost either one of you. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I plan on the two of us growing very old together, side by side. Like those two elms at the bottom of the orchard that have grown so close together that their limbs are intertwined. That's what I want for us. Me too. Was he still asleep? No, he opened his eyes for a few minutes when I tiptoed in. So I read him a few pages from The Hobbit, and he nodded right off. You're a wonderful mom. Oh, I hope so. I know I love him with all my heart. Well, huh? <laughs> Happy New Year, Dolly. Happy New Year. I was afraid this night would never come. Hmm. I didn't want to admit it, but... I was terrified myself. I thought we'd never be together again. Well, that's all behind us now, isn't it? You know I never stopped loving you. So you realize that things could have never worked out between you and Fancy. Yeah, I was kidding myself to think we ever had a prayer. No doubt that she loved you, and you did care about her. Well, yeah, of course I did. But it was never the same. With her as it was, is, with you. It's a shame I had to hurt her, though, because she really thought that we were meant to be together. Only you knew better, didn't you? Of course I did. Every time I saw you, I knew who I was meant to be with. 
But you're not saying that you broke up with Fancy because of anything that I did, are you? Because she is still my niece, and I would hate myself if I was responsible for any of her heartbreak. No. No, do not blame yourself. It was my decision, my decision only. That's a relief. Yeah. As difficult as it was to hurt her, it was the right thing to do. You are the only woman that I will ever love. way. Yes. Something's different. You've never been this passionate before. You've never been this free before. It's love, Chris. Only love. Just never forget how you feel this very moment. Promise? Promise. 